Alpha males, definitely a real thing, not at all pseudoscience and definitely not a grift perpetuated by the podcasting industry. But what is it to be alpha? And how do I show my alphaness at the gym to dominate other people without even touching them? Thankfully, I am somewhat of a scientist myself, which is why today we're gonna check out the most alpha exercises and I'm pretty sure you're gonna be surprised about some of them because you have to really understand what it means to be alpha to be able to recognize these exercises as the level of alpha they are. Starting out with... Now, when it comes to the deadlift, the schools of thought are divided. On one hand, you have the people who claim that it can't be alpha because for one, you're using your legs, which is a beta move. Not to mention that you're bending over backwards and sticking your butt out, which there is nothing less alpha than that. But these people do not understand the meaning of what is alpha. Because in reality, the deadlift is the pure simulation of alphaness in our modern world. If you look at the most real alphas in the wild, especially the apes, you will notice that this is their main posture for a reason. Because in reality, there is nothing more alpha than being able to stick your butt out with the confidence of knowing that nobody will ever dare touch it. And this by itself asserts dominance over everyone who surrounds you. If you weren't alpha, people would be giving you the Diddy treatment. And you would notice very quickly that you are not built to be a high value man. Which moves us to the next, probably most alpha exercises of them all. If I asked you what is the strongest force acting on this planet, some of my viewers who have had an education might claim that it's gravity. The strongest force acting on this planet is love, but the second strongest might be gravity. And there is probably nothing more alpha than the pull up, which is you telling gravity to go nibble on a frozen banana. The pull-up is you demonstrating to gravity that not even the forces of the universe can hold you down and that you will be beating them. And the only reason this does not ring true for everyone who knows how to do a pull-up is that some of us are short and getting up to that bar is pretty much a demonstration of your lack of alphaness. Which means that if you are not tall enough to at the very least grab the bar with a tiny jump, then doing a pull up is your exclamation to the world that you are a beta. And that, my friends, is the nuance of science. Some alpha exercises become beta exercises if the wrong people participate in them. Science. Which brings us to another one of the absurdly alpha exercises and that would be the weighted shrug. Not only is shrugging your statement to the world that you can give less of a sh** about what's going on, but shrugging with weights is a testament to you giving so little f that you need extra weight to hold your arms up so you don't shrug too hard and end up in the stratosphere. And not caring about things is pretty much the definition of being alpha. Unless it's caring about aesthetics, money, how people perceive you, how you perceive yourselves, how your parents perceive you, how other people's parents perceive you, and how the world perceives how your parents perceive you. But caring about anything other than that is not alpha. And equally as alpha as the shrug is the overhead press. Now, if climbing the highest tree was a testament to your alphaness back in the days where we used to roam the forests, then in the modern world, the equivalent is lifting heavy above your head because that demonstrates that you are strong enough not only to pick up stuff but to lift it as high as possible which is an extended arm above your head a feat of strength that is impressive to most people who do not understand that lifting stuff above your head is basically 80 percent of the function of arms which means that to add to the alphaness of this movement, you have to be grunting very loudly when exercising this particular movement pattern because it shows that what you are lifting up is actually heavy and not meant to be above your head and you're putting yourself into mortal danger when doing this exercise. Now, I used to think that the bench press is the least alpha thing a man can do. What am I? Competing with my girlfriend about who has the biggest tits? But that was back then when I didn't know much about what it means to be alpha. Because back then I didn't quite understand that 90% of people who lift regularly don't actually have girlfriends and those will be the only breasts they will ever get to touch. Their own. 
which means that having big bulbous breasts that you can play with whenever you feel a little bit lonely, a little bit by yourself, a little bit disregarded by the rest of society is actually a pretty alpha thing to do. It shows that you don't need nobody, especially not a woman. Uh, I, I meant a female. Which brings us to an exercise that is just as alpha and that would be the rope. And to understand that, you actually have to understand the history of humanity. See, before we got infected by the mind virus that is called wokeness, we used to be able to actually own other people. And half of the pleasure of owning other people was apparently making them do things that are way too hard for yourself to do. And that is where the row came in. Because rowing yourself was actually pretty exhausting, but having someone rowing for you, now that was pretty easy. And if you were the person rowing, then you were demonstrating to the world that people would pay money for you to do a job for them that they are incapable of doing. And I cannot imagine anything that is more alpha than that, except for my mom maybe. And last, but definitely not least, one of the most alpha exercises you can do is of course the hip thrust. Some of you might be confused by my choice of this exercise, but let me school you once more on what it means to be alpha. Being alpha means that you have a choice from a myriad of females who all are lusting for you and to demonstrate to them that not only you are a high value man, but you're also strong enough to thrust them into the stratosphere if you have to, is another testament to your manliness. Now, of course, this will also lead to having a bigger and rounder butt, which alpha males definitely do not mind. Because alpha men are physique builders, and we know that the people who enjoy good and strong male physiques, the most are other men. And they're definitely looking at your bulbous butt. And nobody knows that more than the modern alpha male, which is why 80% of their jokes start with no homo, because they know if they don't add it, then people will automatically assume that it is yes, it is homo. Now, hopefully I gave you at the very least some idea of what you can adjust in your own life to become more alpha and how to avoid being seen as a beta at the gym. If you implement most or all of these exercises, there is absolutely no one, and I mean no one who can ever make you feel unsure about your own sexuality and your manliness, because you already do that more than anyone else. But with that said, sadly, that's all the time I've left for you today. If you like the video, like the video and subscribe, and please check out other videos on this channel, because we literally have new ones every single day. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Captain Cairo, peace out.